Hey guys, how's it going? Mike is on gaming, showing you another video, a tutorial video, on how to hook your PS3 controller or your Xbox controller up to your computer so you can play your video games with it, and also um, to hook it up to World at War because I have received this question. Hey, nice video, keep it up. No, it was where is it? Oh, it was under here. Sorry. All right, so it's set it right here. Uh, I was wondering um, if I use a controller, Xbox 360 controller for Nazi Zombies PC, or I can just say World at War for now. Um, I can show you how to do that. Um, my friends were also asking me to do it too, so I guess I got enough support on doing this video. But anyways, um, what you want to do is click on the link in the description. It should say most you enjoy download in the description. It will bring you to this type of website. Now once when you're here, I would suggest you not to click on the one that says testing. I would click on the one that's, that's under it. That's version 0 0.6.0005. It might be updated once when you see this video. It all depends, but yeah just click on site one where it's a site one and then it will start downloading or bring you to another website now I already had this downloaded so I'm gonna cancel that alright so you should get something that looks like this now I have WinRAR if you don't have WinRAR um, it would also be in the description for you guys to download but I'm not really gonna show you guys how to download it but you don't really need it it's just for um, it would really help you so let me just put it that way um, so yeah you probably have like a zip folder or something something like that alright so it should be like this motion joy um, just bring it to your desktop bring that out of the f um, bring that to your desktop alright so you should receive an installer like this now you just click on it now I already installed it but yeah it should do something like this and then it'll ask you what to install to and you just install it but I already did alright so once when you install it you should get something called DS3 tool alright so what you want to do now is just simply open it and you should get something like this alright so this is what you want to do you want to hook your controller in you can just use one regular con um, Xbox 360 or PS3 charger anything would work you just plug it into your computer to a USB slot and then hook it up to your controller now when you first start this out like not what a lot of people show is that it wouldn't be um it wouldn't show up and it wouldn't work and now here's the problem why um it's not installed correctly um alright so I'm just gonna open driver manager just go to driver manager you probably have to click it twice but here we go and it will make you alright so right here where it says the check mark you wanna click on it and click world driver now the one that says X don't do that one do the one that has the check mark and you just click load driver and it will just start now once when you do that it should activate your controller so I don't know what you have to do here but just go back to profiles and it should connect or you can just reload the page and it will probably connect but uh, just for purposes wanting to do that just take it out put it back in alright just click enable click vibrating test now if it doesn't vibrate that means there's a problem and guys there's a mini cheat code to this if you press vibrating test and X is out the vibrating will keep going That's just a mini trick. To turn it off, you just enable, or you can just take the thing majiggy out the charger. So yeah, um, I had the Xbox 360 controller emulator on. You can have PS3 on if you um if you want, but I have this on. So just go check this. Um, you can go to options and just see all the stuff everything's okay everything's on default just if it's not on default just click default and do save changes but obviously it's okay alright so once you do this enable vibrating test if it doesn't vibrate something's wrong and it should have that charger thing there and when you look at your PS um 
when you look at your controller it should have the um it should be like this hang on let me bring up windows movie maker to show you guys Or I should, yeah, I know. I just got a haircut today. But, um, anyways, it should, um, oh, my God. Oh, if you guys like this, oh, my God. Wow. Oh, got it? All right, you should, it, the lights should look like that. Just going back and forth like that, if it worked correctly. So, anyways, um, if you guys don't like seeing my face, well, there you go. <laughs> So after that, um, what you want to do, um, alright, so this is how you connect it to your World at War. Now, I'm going to have this code. You guys can just can copy paste in. I'm going to show you how to copy paste because it, because you can't go like that and go paste. You have to do control V. But anyways, here, let me find the file. Alright. So when you look in the description, it says, um, Probably like World at War um, code to connect it or something like that. It will be in the description for you guys, so just check that out. And what you want to do is type in this code exec space default. Um, I forgot what that's called. Oh, I just forget about it. Controller dot cfg. Just type that in, it will be in the description again. So, what you want to do is just all right, pretend this is a description, just, all right, just make it all blue, and then just do control C, which I'm going to do, or just go copy. I just might as well do that. All right, so once we need to do that, you want to go to my games, and you want to open World That War, of course. All right. Alright, so I gotta open it up. I had to open my fraps because Contasia won't allow you to um, record full screen games. Now, let me turn it down. Uh, turn that down. Actually, put that all the way up. Sorry, guys. Didn't set this all up yet. Alright, so what you want to do is go to game options and go to enable console. So once when you click that, um, it'll allow you to enable the console. Well, not the controller yet. You still have to type in the code. Alright, so once you do that, um, right by your escape key on your computer, it'll be on the corner of the keyboard. It should say ESC. Right under that, there should be a squiggly line and a, and some type of dash under it. So just click shift and click that. No, you don't have to click shift. Never mind. No. Ah. Just click the squiggly line and it will just open up. Now, if you follow my directions, all you have to do is click control on your computer and then click the V button. And that will copy it right in now after you do that if it's exactly like this just you want to click the enter button all right after you do that you just enabled your console so it doesn't say because mine's already connected if it says something though then like woohoo I don't know it's been a while since I set it up so once when you set it up you don't have to type in that code anymore just to let you guys know so just for purposes I'm gonna Play some Nazi zombies for you guys. I don't know, some type of cheap one. Alright. Now I'm gonna move my controller around. I'm gonna back away from my mouse. And you guys can only hear the controller here. So this is not fake. Just letting you guys know this is not fake. <laughs> I don't wanna get some haters out there. I press start on my um controller. Why did it lag? Alright, it's been a while since I played this map anyway, so that's probably why. So, um I don't know why it's lagging, but Alright, so you should notice that it oh yeah, because my um 
editors are up and stuff and I wonder why it's slowly um slow so yeah I'm just gonna move around all right and I'm gonna shoot so you should we should be noticing that it's working so um if you're using I'm just gonna show ps3 so just reload with square of course now I'm using the Xbox emulator so um just click the bottom or what do you call it? L2, the aim, R2, the shoot, R3 to sprint, of course, all that stuff. And um, obviously the melee button, R3. So yeah, guys, it's pretty legit. Hopefully I helped you guys out. So guys, this is Megazone Gaming. Hope you enjoyed this awesome tutorial. And peace.